The 2020 Ford Explorer Limited. Hi, I'm Tim Barks, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over all the standard as well as optional equipment on the 2020 Ford Explorer Limited. So that limited trim is what we're going to talk about in this video. Uh, we do call it a complete guide because we're going to go over all the standard equipment first. And then we're going to talk about uh, different packages and uh, standalone options after that. So again, uh, don't forget, uh, if you're look, watching this on YouTube, uh, see the description down below. We'll have the timestamps as we go around it. So if you need to move around the video, you can, as well as the prices on those different standalone options. So definitely refer to that. Save this to a playlist as well. So that way you'll have it for any uh, information that you might want to gather on the uh, limited trim of the Explorer. And also be looking for other videos that we have. We already have an XLT, an ST, as well as a platinum trim video. This completes the whole lineup of all the Explorers. So if you're looking for those videos, I'll have them down in the description as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. First, I want to talk about some of the different safety features that are standard. I do like to kind of talk about safety because safety is very important to Ford uh, and it's very important to your family as well to keep you protected, not only after you get in an accident, uh, but also how to avoid an accident to begin with. So there's some great safety features now, standard equipment on all your Explorers. Now, first let's talk about the airbags. Dual stage airbags for the driver and front passenger. It'll deploy a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. It does have a sensor, a seat, that's a seat sensor, that allows you to know how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Also knee airbag as well, so it's gonna deploy a, an airbag uh, for not only for the driver, but also for the front passenger uh, from that glove box under there. Side impact airbags as well for the driver and front passenger. So if you have that side collision, it's gonna deploy the airbag from the side of those seats, protecting those in the front seat. Uh, and then also, and that's usually who usually get, in the, get, the, uh, get hit with that. Also, you do have the safety canopy airbag with rollover sensor. So if you do end up rolling the vehicle over, so airbags that will deploy down from the top uh, to protect the, ground, the glass around the vehicle. So really great way to really protect everyone in the vehicle. Also, if you do get in an accident, you do have SOS post-crash alert system that's gonna honk the horns and flash the lights if you're in an accident. It lets people know that you are off the road and you need help. Also, you have 911 assist. So you can Bluetooth your phone in, call 911 directly, and they're gonna help come to your safety. Uh, and so that way you don't rely on OnStar or something like that. Also, another thing that's a standard equipment after you get in an accident is your post-collision braking. So if you do uh, aren't able to, uh, to stop, the uh, post-collision braking will go ahead and engage those. So that way, if you've never touched the brakes uh, and you have that accident you're not aware of and you hit somebody, especially from the front, it's gonna go ahead and brake the vehicle uh, for you uh, if you're not able to. So uh, that's also standard equipment. Also, uh, for those kids to protect them back here, you do have the child safety locks. And a lot of vehicles anymore are gonna have these some of these features, uh, but child safety locks is a great way to kind of lock those doors so those kids can't open them. Also, the latch system. Lower anchors and tethers for children. I think it's a pretty much a law anymore to have this in your vehicle. Second row seats, you can fasten those seat belts, those kids, those booster seats and such, down to the back of those seats. Also, a couple of uh, great features that are standard equipment in all your Explorers is side wind stabilization. So uh, it does have e-pass, an electronic power assist steering that's gonna help you when you're going slower to be able to turn the steering wheel a little bit easier. It does help you on the highway, stiffen it up so that way it's not gonna be such a drastic turn if you uh, move the steering wheel a little bit. But side wind stabilization will help, especially here in Kansas. There are some flat sections that that wind can push you from side to side and that's gonna help stabilize it so you don't have that happen to you. So some great features features there. Now let's talk about the Copilot 360. Copilot 360 uh, is standard equipment on all of your Explorers. We did see that in a couple vehicles, three vehicles for 2019. It now is going to be rolled out about every vehicle. Uh, Copilot 360 comes with some great features, but one of them that I want to talk about is a great safety feature first is your pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So it's going to use front collision warning as well as dynamic brake support and even pedestrian detection. So if you're uh, someone's uh, coming across your path in front of you or if they're stopped in front of you and you're not hitting your brake, it's going to initiate the brake if you don't. It will give you the warning on the dash and tones that you need to stop. Uh, and then if you don't hit your brakes, it will. So a great way to really help uh, lessen that severity. Also, as part of the Copilot 360 Assist Plus, which is a standard equipment on the Limited, 
it comes evasive steering assist. So that's going to help you if you're in that situation where by braking, it's not, you're not going to avoid that accident. Uh, somebody maybe darts in front of you real quick off of a turn or something, and you need to turn around them. It's going to help you with the steering. So it doesn't initiate it. It is driver initiated. Uh, so you can, when you go to turn, it's going to help you turn more severely when they see that accident as well. So it knows that you're wanting to do that and it helps assist that. This is a feature as well as some of the others that you can activate and deactivate in your settings screen. Uh, so if that's something you don't like, some people have talked about that online. Don't know if I want to rely on that and the system doing that for me or to help or assist me in that. Uh, you can deactivate that setting as well. So let's go ahead and we talk about the front of it. First, I want to talk about some mechanical things first. Let's talk about the uh, drivetrains and the engines that are going to come standard on these. Now, it's going to come standard in your real-wheel drive, but you can get the optional four-wheel drive. So what's great about this, and it does have to include the intelligent four-wheel drive system that we have seen in Explorer for years. Uh, now you're going to see it, uh, you'd adjust that with that dial that says drive modes there. So even if you get a real-wheel drive, you're going to have some extra drive modes that you normally wouldn't see. So you have a normal, a sport, uh, now you have an eco mode for 2020 Explorer as well as you even have a slippery one. So even if it's raining outside, you can move it over there and it'll help with the traction as well. But with Intelligent 4-Wheel Drive, you're going to have some extra drive modes uh, that'll help and you can just uh, change that for the different road conditions. So whether it be rock, uh, gravel, uh, snow, you can adjust it for your uh, terrain there and it's going to be really, really easy to adjust it. You don't have a, to worry about should I be in 4 high or 4 low. Uh, it's going to adjust everything for you right there. So and you're going to see everything in that productivity screen between your speedometer and your tack. Uh, that's uh, what that's called the productivity screen that's where you're gonna see those drive modes show up there so a uh, great system there now standard engine is going to be your 2.3 liter four-cylinder EcoBoost engine same engine we did see in the XLT uh, so that engine is to deliver 300 horsepower 310 pound-feet of torque so pretty good amount of power behind that it also is going to come with the auto start stop technology which means if you don't know what that is it's if you pull up the stoplight stop sign you press your brake it's gonna shut the vehicle off and then when you let go of the brake, it's going to go ahead and turn it back on. So even before you can get over to the gas pedal, it'll be going. Uh, if that's something maybe you want to deactivate on that trip, maybe uh, it's hot outside, you need the air conditioning flowing because it does shut the vehicle completely off, uh, it will go ahead. You can just hit the deactivation button there right by the drive mode uh, dial I just showed you, and it'll deactivate it for that trip. So real easy to do, and you're usually your hands right above that anyway. Uh, you notice that at stoplight, you just press it, and it, deact and it uh, deactivates that. Great system and how that's going to work. So also uh, within uh, this, you can get the optional 3.3-liter uh, hybrid engine. So what's great about it is a 3.3 natural aspirated V6 with an electric motor. So it's powdered with an electric motor, so that way you're going to get great performance as well as good fuel economy. So yeah, that one's they're saying is going to have deliver about 318 horsepower, 322 pound-feet of torque. And that hybrid engine is going to be available in rear-wheel drive as well as four-wheel drive. So uh, that's uh, great that it's coming with that. Uh, not seeing uh, too much in the way of fuel economy numbers yet, but they do say you're going to be able to get 500 miles on a tank and it's an 18 gallon tank. So if you do the numbers, you're probably right around 27, 28 miles per gallon combined. Uh, so pretty good fuel economy with that and you don't lose any in a way of any kind of performance uh, for that engine. So, and it's also gonna be uh, geared with that 10 speed automatic transmission as well. So the 2.3 will come with select shift so you can sh shift it up and down like a manual transmission as well. So uh, I love that it's geared with the 10 speed automatic transmission and not that the uh, Atkins uh, transmission. So a great performance out of this. I'm looking forward to getting a hybrid in that we can drive ourselves to give you a kind of a test drive on that when that comes out. So you're gonna love that. So a couple different uh, ways you can go there. Uh, either way, I think you're gonna really love it. Now let's talk about some of the uh, safety features. Uh, talk about Copilot 360 uh, real quick. One of the features we want to talk about here on the front is your lane keeping system. Lane keeping system, standard equipment on all your explorers. And so it's going to include your driver alert as well as the lane keeping aid and alert system. So the, the driver alert means that if you take your hands off the steering wheel, it's going to alert you with a little a message on the dash as well as a tone that you need to be more alert. The aid system and alert system. The, the alert system is that if you leave your lane, it's going to go ahead and vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. The aid system will actually keep you in your lane. So use torque vectoring to kind of bring you back into the lane. Uh, so you can set it up for the aid or alert or both uh, within your uh, setting screen there for that. And this is something you would activate and deactivate, I uh, believe with the button on the uh, turn signal and that's the way most of them are doing that. So great system and how that works there. 
Also, you get the Copilot 360 Assist Plus with the Limited package in your ST and, a and Platinum as well. The Limited is the first one you're seeing as standard equipment. With that, you're going to get that uh, the adaptive cruise control with stop and go. What's great about it is this, this new stop and go includes some other features. So uh, not only is it going to be an adaptive cruise, which means if someone's going slower than you, you're going to slow down to go their speed until you turn, uh, pass them and speed back up and it's safe for you to resume so you don't have to use your brakes. It's also going to include the speed sign recognition now. So what's great about that is if you have that cruise set, uh, let's say it's uh, the speed limit is 65 miles an hour and you have it set for 70, which you can have a tolerance of up to about, I think up to about 10 or 15, I did see. Uh, so you can uh, adjust that tolerance. So if you're you know, driving along, you're going 70 miles an hour, the speed limit sign changes to 75, it'll go ahead and change and adjust your speed up to the 80 at that point, which is your tolerance of plus five. So great how that works together. Also, if you don't even have your cruise set, the speed sign recognition will let you know with a, a little message on the dash as well that the speed limit has changed. So you can always adjust your speed accordingly, even if you don't have your cruise set. So love how that technology is working. Uh, I think you really like it as well. Uh, so a great system there. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the styling up here on the front of it. So the, the Limited is a little bit different look uh, than your other trims. So I love the look in here. Chrome uh, bar across like you see, do see with the XLT. But now you have a silver painted here in that grill. So great look to it. Uh, I love the look of this Explorer, this grill, this mesh here in the middle just looks gorgeous. Headlights, LEDs all the way around. So LED low beam, LED high beam. Automatic feature as well, so you have an auto setting, they're going to come on automatically. What's even cool about the Explorer now on this one, if you shut the vehicle off, even if you have the headlights turned off, uh, you turn the vehicle off, when you turn it back on, it automatically flips it over to the auto, so that way they'll come on, uh, so you, you, don't, you don't forget. So I love how that works. Uh, wiper activated as well, so if it's raining, it's going to turn those headlights on too. And auto high beam is standard equipment as part of the Copilot 360. So auto high beam, a lot like your automatic headlights, They'll come on automatically when there's no one in front of you. It's really dark outside, you can't see. It'll turn those auto high beams on. Somebody approaches you or your city lights, they'll turn off. LED fog lights as well. We did see that in the XLT 202A equipment group is now standard, it's gonna be standard equipment on your limiteds as well. Uh, does have a body colored uh, bumper down here, molded in kind of towards the bottom because you're gonna get rocks and different things like that. And then silver painted front element here uh, as well up there. Front tag bracket is going to be standard equipment in states that require front tag. States like Kansas, it's going to be optional equipment. We'll talk more about optional equipment later, uh, but it is a no charge option anyway if you want to go that way. LED uh, signature lighting, almost forgot about that as well. So that's impactful. Can be on as your daytime running lights as well. Uh, and just a great look to it when you unlock the vehicle. And then even in the headlights, the assembly in there, you can see a high gloss black finish. Not so if I can get a good clip of that uh, or not, but that's going to look great as well. A couple things with the windshield that is standard equipment on your Explorer Limited. One of them is your rain sensing wipers. Rain sensing wipers, if you have that turned activated and you have your wiper in one of those intermittent settings, it's going to automatically turn the wipers on when it starts to rain. Rain's a little harder, they're going to wipe faster, you don't have to adjust it yourself. Uh, also, windshield wiper de-icers standard equipment as well on your limited so what's great about that is uh, when that you know winter time when it's snowing uh, it's so maybe sleeting out that windshield will defrost everything off of the glass which is great but then your windshield wipers are wet they start to freeze up on you the windshield wiper de-icers will make it so they're actually functional so last feature i want to show you is a really neat feature that's uh, new for the 2020 explorer and that's the latch for the hood it's a small thing uh, but i want to uh, demonstrate it so if you pull this latch here uh, it says to pull it twice so you pull it once and pull it a second time then you can just come up here and you can go ahead and just uh, open it so you don't have a latch to try to find or anything like that you still have to use a support arm to keep it up uh, but you don't have to try to hunt under there for that latch small detail something i really like and is new for the 2020 explorer now let's move around to the side a couple things i want to kind of note there on the front is that this does have front sensing system as standard equipment in all your limiteds as well as it's going to have 360 degree camera. There's a camera uh, on the front as well as a camera under each of these uh, mirrors on the side as well as one on the back. So that way you can see completely around the vehicle. So limited and above are going to have your 360 degree camera as uh, standard equipment. So it's a split screen view where you can see on one side it's going to be all the way around the vehicle. The other side will be either that front or the backup camera. It depends on uh, what, uh, what direction you're going there. 
the standard wheel. A couple different options here. If you have the 2.3 liter, the standard wheel is going to be a 20 inch polished aluminum wheel. So a polished wheel there. Uh, we'll give you a clip of Ford's website. Uh, we're probably going to order this one. This is an optional wheel for your 2.3 standard wheel on your hybrid so if you do get a hybrid it's going to come standard with this wheel 20 inch hand polished uh, wheel so great looking wheel uh, I, I really love this design on it uh, again this is standard on your hybrid it's the optional wheel on your 2.3 liter so keep that in mind your mirrors it does have a body colored mirror cap turn signal indicator on the outside power heated glass also does have the security approach lamp that's going to light the ground beside the vehicle Auto fold too, so it does have power fold feature, but also auto fold. So when you do lock the vehicle up, they are gonna fold in. I'm gonna give you a demonstration of that in just a little bit here. Also, standard equipment on all of your Explorers is your Bliss with cross traffic alert. So uh, what Bliss does is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in the corner of the mirror on that side, let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. As you're backing up, if someone's gonna cross your path behind you, it's gonna alert you with a light in the corner of the mirror. Also puts a message on the dash, telling you if they're coming from the left or the right and the series of tones that it's not safe to back up. I love the Bliss. If you watch any of my videos, you'll know that. Uh, just, just because there's been a couple of times it's kind of saved me in a, in a parking lot where somebody's really going really fast behind you. Uh, so I, I love the cross traffic alert for that reason there. So uh, great features here on the mirrors. Uh, this does have intelligent access. allows you to leave that key fob in your pocket like I have uh, and just put your hands in the door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle for you. Uh, and allow you to get in and out of it without having to get the keys out. You just press the little lock button there on the front part and it's gonna lock the vehicle up. You'll see the auto fold mirrors now folds in towards the glass when you lock it. And then uh, when you unlock it, it, it folds them back out. So you don't even have to open the door, it's gonna fold them back out into place. So love how that works. You do have invisible keypad on the pillar just like we have seen in the past. So if you wanna leave the keys inside or access it without the keys, maybe you uh, forgot the keys and you need to grab something outside or from inside, use your own special code that you can program using the touch screen uh, to be able to get in and out of it that way and it will in, uh, you know, be invisible as well when you lock the vehicle up. So I uh, love how that works. Uh, the door handles, body color door handles with a nice little chrome accent there in the middle of it. Uh, similar to the body uh, molding on the bottom, you have a molded in black with a chrome accent in there and that Explorer uh, etched in the side over there. So real nice look uh, to the bottom of the rocker molding as well down there. And then you're going to see that on the wheel lip moldings as well. So that molded in black and because it is an SUV, they're assuming you're going to sit a little bit higher. You don't want to make sure you kind of protect those from any rocks or anything like that and not chip in the paint. Uh, so they do have that around those as well to protect it. Uh, along the belt line is going to be uh, your black as well is up here on the top part of that. And then your refract rails up here. They're gonna be a satin chrome finish here to those. So real nice look and touch to those. That's gonna be standard equipment, the refract rails up here. Uh, so I love the look there. It does have the easy fuel capless filler door. Uh, so you don't have to worry about leaving you know, the cap behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. You just open the door, uh, put that nozzle in, fill it up, and then shut it when you're done. The hybrid models, you may have to release it with a button. I know on the fusion hybrids, you'll need to do that. Uh, so that could be a possibility to be able to open that instead of just being able to just touch it and pop it open. So people have asked how to open those doors. You just, just press it and it opens up there for you. Also privacy glass on these back windows, the quarter windows and the back glass keeps a little bit cooler inside. Also, if you want to give those kids in the back seat a little bit of sunshade, there are sun blinds. That's something new for the Explorer lineup. Uh, they are standard equipment on your limited. So those two uh, second row uh, windows over here, you can pull those sun, sheets, sun shades up and those sun blinds and it'll uh, keep some of that sun out for those kids in the second row. So uh, great standard equipment here on the side. I don't think I forgot anything on the side of it. Uh, let's go and continue to the back now. So a couple great things I want to uh, show you here on the back of the vehicle. And let's first start with this, uh, the rear look here. It does have a nice uh, rear spoiler back here. Uh, it does have body colored on the top, uh, molded in just underneath, and then some high gloss black uh, strips down here and on the side. So uh, it'll be black no matter what color that vehicle is. Gives you that floating roof line design here that Ford's went with. It does have your rear defrost with rear wiper, center high mounted stoplight as well up there on the spoiler. It does have your LED tail lights. Again, all LEDs around the vehicle. It does have the nice chrome accent here on with the Explorer etched on the back, rear view camera with a washer as well here on the back. Uh, does have your body colored bumpers throughout here, molded in uh, right here where these reflectors are, as well as silver skid plates 
uh, on the rear part back there. Now here on the molding on the top, you'll see black, but a nice chrome accent as well across here. That's something that's unique uh, for the, I believe the, the Exotili might have it, but I know it, it would look real unique to this one. It does have your limited here on the back with your four wheel drive EcoBoost if it's got it uh, there on the, the right side of the, the lift gate here. Now this lift gate here is a power lift gate, so you can use a remote. In fact, let me go ahead and grab the remote and show you, give you a little clip of that. Uh, so you can unlock, lock it. You do have a remote start as well. Remote start is standard equipment on your limited. Uh, I believe it comes on that 202A XLT package. Uh, lim they're going to be standard on the limited and above and it does have your power lift gate button right back here too you can also press there's a little arrow right over here up past the R you can press that as well to open it up but if you want you can use your foot too so if you have your hands full of groceries and some things you can just use your foot to go ahead and open it up that way as well and you can close it the same way so you can even though it's lifted you can use your foot to close it too so if you have your hands full again as you're getting out had this happen at, at myself you can use it you can do the foot activated to uh, close it as well so up here uh, real quick you'll notice the height here uh, I am about you know 511 here so I can reach these buttons real easily to shut that uh, but maybe if you're a little shorter you can always bring this down uh, you can press and hold this uh, button and it's going to go ahead and leave it to that spot so the next time when it opens up it's going to stop there instead of going up further so if you're a little bit shorter uh, you can adjust that uh, into your height and as well and there's also a lock back here which comes in handy so let's say you uh, get out of the vehicle by getting out getting your stuff out you can hit the lock button and the shut it and that way you don't have to relock the vehicle uh, sometimes some vehicles you have to do that so that's real nice having that back here too so inside here carpeted mats are standard equipment on your limiteds so go ahead and move those uh, you'll see that in the footwell on the front seat as well as the second row seat uh, for uh, those uh, carpeted mats there in here a little bit different look than the 2019 as you'd expect so i love how you have a kind of a flat uh, height here so you don't have that drop or that deep well below there uh, for for storage but you do have this in this door so you can bring things in put them right in there if you need to uh, also this door does open up so you can, uh, it comes out real easily. So as you can see, just uh, real lightweight as well. And then I'm gonna actually move it to the side so you can see. Down in there, you're gonna see it uh, has a carpet underneath, a little management system in there with two other sections on the left and the right. And those little uh, doors can come off. And what's great is, is uh, each one can uh, be positioned in two different spots. One there on the left to contain and have a smaller container on the, on the left side where it's kind of a molded in uh, compartment in there. Or you can put it over here and it drops down a little bit lower and you can manage your cargo in there as well. So uh, real nice how that works in there. And then that way you can position things so they won't roll around as much in there. So that's how those are, are going to work. They're real snug and stay in there just fine. Otherwise, you can leave them and you can put them down in there. So kind of give I'm going to put this back into place. So real nice on how that works. I like that it. it's kind of a, a little bit different functional. You don't have you have the deep well still, but you do have a compartment to kind of protect it. Uh, keep those things in there if you need to because now with these seats I love what they've done for 2020 they're not going to fold down to the back of it so you don't have that different uh, system now you do have front and rear independent suspension with the Explorer so not only going to get a great ride but you're going to also have more leg room for those in the third row seat and you're going to be able to fold the seats flat to the floor and I like in 2020 uh, you don't have uh, three levers and buttons you have to pull. You pull one strap to release the seat cushion, uh, the other one the seat back and that kind of thing to flip it down in, especially the XLTs when it's manual. This one does have the power, so you do have power third row seat, left, right, or both. But what's great about this, let me demonstrate this. If you hit both here, uh, those headrests are up. You can pull these straps to lower them down, or you, if you just need to fold it down, you can just press the button, and they're going to flip down first, and then it's going to fold straight down. So. For a uh, great thing is, is that if you have an XLT, um, you don't have to have all these levers you have to push and you know figure out how to, that goes down. You can just go ahead and just push it forward on those. So you just releases and pushes forward. The power ones lowers those headrests down and then lowers that down, giving you a flat low, low level in here. You can pick left, right. So then when I, I, I flip it again or push it again, it's gonna just bring them straight up. It's gonna go a lot quicker. And I think they've done a, Ford's done a great job with these. You will have to manually put those headrests up if you want to. Uh, if you're like my family, we usually leave those down unless the kids are sitting there uh, and then they'll maybe raise them up if they want to. So uh, that way it just makes it a little bit easier to, to see through the back glass. So I love all the functionality in here. Uh, powerful third row seat back here. You do have a PowerPoint back here too and a light so you can see back here and some loops. 
Uh, so you can get cargo netting, I believe, for these. Uh, and it's going to go back here and position it back here. So great, uh, you know, just a great functionality back here. And let's go ahead and move inside. I think I've covered everything in the back now. And uh, see some of the great interior features as well. Now moving to the interior, there's two different color interiors that are available for you. You have your ebony interior, like you're seeing with this particular vehicle. So yeah, I'll give you some shots across the dash with the ebony interior. So you can see all black interior inserts as well. Nice stitching on the doors. Uh, of course, black dash. You do have this really unique wood trim uh, across there, or they call them the appliques across there. So real nice uh, weave, uh, uh, kind of a wave uh, finish to those. I love that finish there on these. So unique to the limited. Can't see this on any other vehicles. So uh, great finish to it. Of course, leather seating surfaces are standard equipment with the unique stitching as well uh, on those. You will have here, uh, oh, also you can get the sandstone interior. So let me give you a clip of what that's going to look like. So that's your tan interior. So you do have your ebony and your tan uh, for your interior trim there. Um, both of those, of course, would uh, get you those leather seats. So the front seats up here, front bucket seats, a dual 10-way power adjustable seat for the driver and front passenger, including a lumbar, two-way lumbar uh, forward and back, and heated and ventilated seats. So ventilated, the same thing uh, people would think of as cooled seats, uh, but the reason they call it ventilated is it actually pulls the air through the seat instead of cooling off the seat, so it's quieter. Uh, also less condensation underneath it uh, and it's going to uh, function the same way and give you a nice cooled seat for the driver and front passenger. Uh, the second row seat is going to be bucket seats as well. You do have heated seats on those two outside seats as uh, standard equipment so it's a great fit configuration. In fact bucket seats are the only configuration for the second row on your limited and it doesn't even have an optional bench seat available for you. You need as well as a 110 outlet and you're going to have your climate control back there or those auxiliary controls back there too. And then you have a third row seat. So you do have a, a button on the back of the second row seat. It's called a, the uh, power fold. So you just uh, click that button and it's going to power release it and slide it forward a little bit. So those can get in the back to that third row seat, which is a 50-50 split bench seat, uh, seating two back there. And again, power fold feature for those seats. Under the door, power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one touch for all the windows. Uh, driver memory as well for three different drivers and it's going to memorize your mirror, your seat, as well as the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So electronically it'll go up and down, forward and back so you can get in just about any position you need to. Uh, so any size driver should feel comfortable. Leather wrapped, heated steering wheel as well, standard equipment on your limited. And you're going to see on the left side of the steering wheel, those uh, that controls over there will control your cruise control. You do have uh, the uh, gap up there is that the upper left button up there with the vehicle on it. And then below that is going to be the controls for your audio controls, so volume controls, I should say, right there. The deep, the uh, on the right side over here, it's not really a D-pad. It's the controls up here. The top part will control the productivity screen. Not a lot of things that you'll need to uh, really function through that through that screen. It's more of a, a visual for your display than anything, because most of your uh, controls and your settings are going to be controlled with your screen. Uh, so I'll, I'll do a video separate on this new screen and how everything functions uh, here soon. And then also below that is where you're going to see some 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 more audio controls, the uh, Bluetooth voice commands. And everything. You do have your push button start is going to be positioned right up here so real easy to get to and see uh, not hidden by the steering wheel or anything like that. Uh, for your climate control dual zone climate here in the front more of a tri-zone system so rear climate as well so uh, dual zone here in the front uh, means that the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures there uh, and then I love the switches and how those work so you just flip it up and down for your climate and then your fan controls uh, just uh, left and right right there and then your heated uh, and, uh, seats are going to be over here to the left for the driver and to the right for the passenger so you can use it there without having to use the touch screen to control that your audio con system is a B&O audio sound system Bang & Olufsen 12 speaker audio sound system great sound in here it's going to come with HD radio Sirius XM traffic uh, Sirius XM radio uh, comes with the uh, traffic and travel link as well uh, with that you're going to have the sync 3 system that third generation voice enhanced recognition system in this uh, uh, touch screen here so real nice and easy to, to see and to use uh, you can you can control your uh, your phone your entertainment uh, also voice activated navigation system is standard equipment as part of the copilot 360 assist plus uh, that's uh, standard on your limiteds so you're going to have that as well the xm traffic and travel link will come along with that so uh, rear view camera that 360 degree camera will come into view in that screen you did see a little shot of that earlier uh, that we gave you there so we're like i uh, love how that looks and there's a little tray right in here as well uh, so that i think you'll like if you get the uh 
the full screen like the ST and the hybrid has the uh, full uh, tablet screen you don't get this uh, compartment so that's kind of a nice benefit to having this screen here and some people like the uh, landscape uh, style versus the portrait style here uh, also the mirror uh, does have the auto dimming rear view mirror up here so that'll dim that mirror when those cars want to come up behind you with those bright lights there and then on the overhead console, you do have a little compartment there for sunglasses, as well as your controls for your lights are going to be right up there too. And then you do have the universal garage door opener on the visor that'll control up to three different transmitters, garage doors, uh, that kind of thing. You control right there uh, that makes it a little bit easier, uh, especially you don't have that you don't have that clip for the garage door opener when you flip it down, falling down in your lap. So that's a great benefit of that. And then uh, so let's talk about the center console. All the compartments in here. We call this the media up here, a media hub up here. So you just press that little button, the Chrome button there, and you're going to see it. It opens it up. It does have a PowerPoint, a USB port, as well as a USB Type C plug-in. So a lot of phones anymore are coming with a USB C plug-in. So that actually powers things a little bit faster. Uh, so some people are using that. And a big compartment down there. You know, cell phone down there if you want to, and even a little slot for a cord to come through if you want to power that device in there. Uh, it does have the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Uh, so you would plug your phone in and you'd have the interface on the touch screen for you. Uh, works real great. I've used the Android Auto and I really love how that works and, and looks throughout there and uses Google Maps uh, through that instead of, you know, the, uh, the systems, map system. So uh, maybe sometimes a little bit accurate, more accurate that way. Uh, also, you do have your push, uh, your uh, dial shifter here, that rotary dial shifter. Uh, we've been seeing that in the Fusion, a lot of other vehicles. It's going to be in the Explorer as well. And uh, you would press that manual, that M button to be able to put it in that select shift mode for your 2.3 liter engines there. Uh, you do have your park uh, emergency brake is right there as well. The button right behind that is the auto hold button. It's standard equipment on all your explorers. What's great about that is you just press that button, let go of the brake. If you're at a stoplight, stop sign, <clears throat> you can go ahead and press that. It's going to auto hold that brake so that way you can relax your foot, take it off. If you're on a hill, it'll come in handy as well there. And then uh, behind that is where you're going to see your drive mode. So uh, your drive mode uh, dial as well as your traction control, you turn that on and off right there, as well as your hill descent control button is right there uh, too. So you can be able to control that there. Your cup holders here, you're going to see ambient lighting in those. So it lights up the cup holders, the footwells, and the door handles, and the compartments in the doors. Uh, so that you can change the different colors on those. It looks real impactful. Uh, so ambient lighting is something a lot of people really love and want to make sure the vehicle has uh, standard equipment on your limited. Also, you'll notice getting in the doors. I just noticed now the Explorer uh, badging there. The door seal plates is what they call those. Nice bright look there on those front doors. Uh, the order guide actually says it's on the rear doors too, and that's not correct. It's only on the front doors up there. Uh, it looks great uh, in the vehicle as well. Uh, talking about this, right in front of the console, you're going to see a wireless charging pad. So those wireless charging phones most of your Androids anymore ha are that way. Uh, I think you know the Samsung from five on up has had it, and then the newer uh, iPhones, iPhone 10 will have it as well, and you can wireless charge just by putting it in there. It is slow charging, but it still gives you a constant charge while you're driving. Uh, so a great way to you know get uh, some use out of it while you're driving the vehicle. And then you can open this uh, console here, and you're going to see a little tray in there. So it kind of has a pad in there, so those things won't hopefully slide around in there. So kind of a grippy uh, feel to it. You can take that out. It's Movable, and then you have a bigger compartment in there with a little light in there and another PowerPoint in there too. So you can power different uh, phones that are you're using those PowerPoints if you're still using those. And then cords that can come through uh, as well to be able to charge those. So uh, great functionality. I think that's all the standard equipment. Uh, I do want to talk about one other thing that's standard equipment, and that's the Ford Pass Connect. So Ford Pass Connect allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app free app you download you uh, program your your VIN in there and then you uh, go to your modem and you uh, go ahead and confirm that with your modem that way you're connected to that and you can be able to remote start your vehicle from anywhere schedule remote start times you can unlock and lock your vehicle locate your vehicle you get four pass rewards using that as well where when you first purchase your 2020 Explorer you're gonna get some reward points for two free oil changes or accessories you want to use it for that so some great benefits and every time you come into service it's going to go ahead and give you reward points every time you get your vehicle service at a Ford dealership give you more and more rewards points so uh, we all like a reward point so that's a great way to stay connected to the vehicle and get some nice loyalty rewards for servicing a vehicle at the local Ford dealership as well as purchasing your vehicle through a Ford dealership so a uh, great system I think I covered everything as standard equipment I want to cover that 310a package that's part of that hybrid uh, and uh, let's go ahead and do that next 
Now let's talk about that 310A equipment group. Now when you order a uh, limited, uh, it's naturally going to be a 300A or you order the 310A. Your 300A will be your 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine and it comes with all the standard equipment we've already talked about. The, the 310A equipment is going to be that come with that 3.3 liter hybrid engine and it's going to come with all the features we've already talked about plus a few others as part of that and one of them is this wheel we talked about earlier being the optional wheel which we're going to get into optional equipment in just a little bit but it's a standard wheel on your hybrid so it's going to come with these 20 inch hand polished wheels so great looking wheel love the spoke this design and the the finish to them uh, that's going to be the standard wheel on all your hybrids also you're going to get a mini spare now standard equipment on your uh, 2.3 liter and the reason we kind of mention it as part of this equipment group is that a lot of people uh, you, when most of your other Ford vehicles that are hybrids come with a tire and inflator kit uh, you're getting a mini spare with your hybrid uh, Explorer so that's great it's an 18 inch spare tire that's going to go and be located down below that cargo area that cargo management system so that's equipped with it as well high series brakes are going to also be part of this equipment group and it's going to come with your heavy duty front and rear brake calipers too so a great addition to your brakes allowing you to stop and the reason you're going to have the high series brakes is going to allow for uh, the regeneration a little bit of the uh, the battery there so you're going to have a bigger battery as well uh, being able to have a better uh, fuel economy and such like that. Also, you're going to get active noise cancellation as part of this. So they want those hybrid engines. You want to be a little bit quieter uh, engine and be quieter inside. So you have active noise cancellation. Works like your active noise active noise cancellation headphones uh, and such. So they make it a little bit quieter inside. You already get the laminated glass here on the front, but the active noise cancellation is going to make it even quieter inside. So that's good part of your 310A package uh, that comes with your 3.3 liter hybrid engines. So let's talk about some optional equipment. The first one I want to talk about are these wheels that is optional on the 300A, comes with the 310A, and that's these uh, nice 20 inch hand polished aluminum wheels that you can get uh, for your 300A package. So any of the gas engines, you can get this wheel. And we'll probably order most of our vehicles with this wheel because there are a couple other options that require this wheel to get them. Uh, so a lot of times we will order those. Also you can get as optional equipment is the self-sealing tires. Uh, all season tires that are self-sealing uh, is a standalone option on a 300A. They actually come with their four wheel drive uh, three, 310A package, which makes me think that you may be required to have a four x four as well. Uh, if I do, you can go to Ford.com and kind of book that out and it'll actually tell you when you actually put those tires in there, whether or not it needs to be four x four or not. So if I did, uh, I'll probably find that out in editing and I'll go ahead and put it on the screen for you. Now the rest of these features are standalone options that are available on the 300 or 310A equipment group. So either if you get the hybrid or the gas engine. And one of them is your engine block heater. Engine block heater is a great uh, thing to add to your vehicle. You live in a cold weather state, uh, you need to plug that vehicle in when it's uh, overnight so that it keeps warm so it starts a little bit better. Engine block heater I think is $90 or $100 and can be ordered a standalone option. Also for uh, the front tag bracket up there, if you live in a state that does not require front tag, it's going to be an optional equipment. So no charge option, uh, be shipped with the vehicle and then the dealer will put it on at free of charge. Uh, but if you do get that from your aftermarket department or parts department later, usually they'll charge you for it. So if you're thinking you might want to put it on there, go ahead and order uh, when you order your vehicle from the factory. Uh, also the class 3 trailer tow package. Now this package does require you to have these wheels. So if you have the 300A, you're going to make sure you order these wheels if you want the tow package. So the tow package uh, is going to give you that class 3, class 4 receiver hitch, 4 pin and 7 pin wiring. I also gave you the cargo management system. So that's a great system uh, that's uh, going to get your all weather mat underneath that shelf under there, uh, as well as a cargo cover uh, that if you have those seats uh, laid down, you can put that cover over it on those hooks I mentioned earlier and then protect things in there so people can't see the belongings you have in there. So tow package is a great way to kind of enhance and give you more towing for the vehicle, uh, being able to put that receiver hitch in there for whatever trailer you might have. And I will list the uh, tow uh, ratings and tow capacity for the, the 2.3 as well as for the your hybrid. So hybrids actually tow really well. Uh, I think even more towing than your 2.3 liter. So you might want to get a hybrid if you want a little bit more towing because uh, I think it, it does a little bit better for you. Also, you have the twin panel moonroof. So twin panel moonroof is optional equipment on the 300 or 310A. It uh, does require you to have these wheels as well. So the 20 inch wheels. So if you get the 300A, uh, you might want to go ahead and order these wheels uh, if you want the twin panel moonroof. It's also going to come with not only the power power sunshade and the power roof, but also open uh, remote open for those front windows. So it uh, works really well. This does have the twin panel moonroof, so I'm going to demonstrate this. So you just uh, hit the unlock once and then press and hold it. 
Uh, and then in just a little bit, it's gonna go ahead and roll those windows down. So now this is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your settings because if you're uh, like some of my family members, you might stick your keys in your pocket, you might press and hold that, and those uh, you come out to the car and your windows are rolled down and you don't understand why. So that's, that would be why, so you can activate and deactivate in your settings screen. Uh, so I think that's all your uh, optional equipment. Uh, now I wanna talk about some accessories you can get for your Explorer as well. Now we're going to talk about some accessories you can add to your vehicle and most of these can be ordered after you get your vehicle if you want to and have them installed at your local dealership. Um, one of them at the end is probably something I would probably order from the factory if you're thinking you want those. Uh, so first one I want to talk about is your wheel lock kit. So your wheel lock kit is going to give you four uh, lug nuts that will replace one of the originals with a key that goes specifically for those lug nuts. So if you have some nice wheels uh, like these come with these nice 20 inch hand polished wheels, you may want to get the wheel lock kit to help protect those. Also you can get your splash guards. Planning on doing some camping, off-roading, going down some dirt roads, splash guards could come in handy keeping those rocks down off the side of your vehicle. Uh, that is also uh, something you can add as an accessory for your vehicle. Also the crossbars. So the roof rack rails up here are going to be standard equipment. If you want the crossbars that go across there, uh, you can add those as optional equipment. Uh, keep in mind too, if you want a certain uh, a special rack like a ski rack or some other, uh, like maybe a tool aftermarket rack up there, it would require you to have those crossbars first to be able to put those racks on there. So that may be something you might want to add to your vehicle. Also you can get all weather mats. So they're floor liners. Uh, they're going to go in the footwells in the front as well as the back seat or the second row seat and protect them kind of an all-weather material so if you plan on getting snow in your uh, you know in there or mud whatever it might be if you're going to go out camping or something uh, you might want to get the all-weather mats you can also get a cargo mat cargo mat would probably go in there more when you have that third row seat uh, folded down so maybe if you keep it that way a lot of the time and want that all-weather mat in there you can get that and it's going to help protect that back there because that is carpet and can get dirty a little bit now this last feature is something I probably wouldn't order from the factory thinking about it. It will be shipped to the dealership ahead of time. The dealership would install that at no charge, uh, but that, that's how, how it's ordered. It would replace your front headrest and it's a dual uh, headrest uh, rear entertainment system. So we call it rear entertainment, not DVD, because it has more than just a DVD. You do have some plugins for different uh, audio systems or even gaming systems, as well as USB ports in there, uh, even SD card slots, so you can be able to put uh, music, uh, videos, that kind of stuff on those. It's gonna come with two sets of headphones, so the kids in the back can watch two different things if they want to. So each one of those headrests for those seats uh, are gonna play something separate. So you can put a DVD on one side, kid can play a game on the other side. Uh, comes in real handy on those long trips. Uh, that is also an accessory you can order from the factory is how I recommend it, or you can order it afterwards from your accessories department. So that's all your standard as well as optional equipment for that limited trim of the 2020 Ford Explorer. Don't forget about the warranties. It's a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and roadside assistance. So pretty similar warranties that we're seeing with all the other Ford vehicles. Uh, so uh, you're gonna have this, those same warranties. Now check out our inventory on our website, lawmacarthur.com. There in each one of our vehicles, you can check for availability, you can schedule a test drive, you can see pictures as well as a 360 degree spin on each one of our vehicles. It's an outside as well as an inside perspective on each vehicle in our stock. We do that on every single one of our vehicles uh, before it hits the lot. So definitely check that out. You can also pull up a PDF of the window sticker too. So you can pull that up, that link there, pull that up, whether it be on your phone or on your desktop and be able to see the standard as well as optional equipment on the original window sticker on each one of our vehicles. So definitely check that out. You can also see our great internet pricing there and we will a lot of times uh, do some discounts on our uh, different Explorer vehicles and they're gonna be uh, including any rebates that Ford will have as well. So definitely based on our zip code. So if you live outside of our area code, you might wanna go ahead or our zip code, if you might wanna go ahead and give us a call or send us a text message, 785. 378-5031 or toll free 1-800-874-6316. So I uh, hope you really enjoyed this video and it gave you a lot of information. Uh, we like to call it our complete guide on the 2020 Ford Explorer Limited. And we do have a special deal for you. You're watching this video on YouTube. We do have a special offer. We've had a lot of people request that they want to, you know, would love to work with us if they were closer to them. And we have a great way for you to do that. And that's going to be free shipping on any one of our vehicles to your door. Uh, we just ask you to live within the 48 states. So it's a little costly if you want to go to Alaska and Hawaii. We have uh, ship vehicles are there. We will pay the first $1,000 uh, outside of that. Uh, you know, it's going to get a little bit pricey there because uh, we still are going to give you that same great internet price. Uh, but what's great about it is that you don't have to worry about the 
of shipping. So we do ask that you finance a vehicle with us. Um, that's how we usually can pay for that. So we're very transparent about it. Uh, nothing hidden here. Uh, if you, you know, a lot of times if you finance a vehicle with one of our lenders, they give us a kickback on that deal and that'll cover some of that cost. But we don't want that cost to be incurred onto you and still be able to get a, a vehicle that knows their product that's gonna order the vehicle the way you want it ordered and shipped right to your door. So a great way to uh, purchase a vehicle. So you know, get up a hold of us, uh, call us or send us a text message 785-378-5031 or toll free 1-800 eight seven four six three one six also for the first time watching one of our videos hit that red subscribe button down there that way you can get subscribed to our youtube channel with some great ford and lincoln content even some roush and off-road uh, content that i think in some videos you'll really like hit that notification bell as well that way you get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our youtube channel like this one uh, and some of our other uh, products that are coming as well so yeah, i think you'll really like some of the content we have if you haven't had a chance yet go ahead and smash that like button let's other people know it's a great video they need to watch i'd appreciate it helps the video in the channel and drop those comments down below as well love getting your feedback what do you think of the new 2020 explorer what do you think of the limited uh, does it have something that you're missing something you were hoping it had on it uh, or something you were surprised about let me know that down in the comments as well so again thanks for watching this video if you want to reach out to us on social media you can find us i'm at tim bartz on facebook or twitter uh, you can also find our our law macarthur uh, channels as well at law macarthur on facebook and twitter uh, that way you can get some of the special deals we have going on right now and uh, for us, you can kind of see what kind of things are going around here at the dealership and what kind of dealership we are. So I think you will like some of the fun things that we're doing for the community as well as for everybody in general. So thanks for watching this video. Until the next one, we'll see you later.